Okay, so in this bag, looks like a normal black bin bag, but inside it's one sheep's head. Found it last week on the moors at Dartmoor and thought it was exactly the sort of thing that Mama Tokus could do with. Lady with the hocus pocus. And now I've got a little cookery lesson. We're going to boil up the sheep's head. I've just gone in to get some incense because I think we're going to need it because of the whiff. Uh, but I kind of feel like I'm making some spells happen by accident. You know, I've got sheep's head, some incense, there's some wool, some hair. I just need a little bit of baby's leg or something to go in the pot. Up here's the water. We've got ourselves a recipe. It's really thick gloves. Really thick. I don't want to touch this with my bare hands. Uh, I've got a kind of knife to lift it out. Um, and here we go. It's like past a parcel, kind of macabre past a parcel. Oh, uh, there's actually some maggots. You know, maybe they've done some of the work for us already. When I was fishing, I would have loved that. I'm not looking forward to this bit particularly. I kind of think that this is going to be the worst bit. But I, I've never boiled up a sheep's head, so I wouldn't really know. Oh God, the boiled maggots in there. Oh God, there's loads of them. Here it goes. Oh. Oh, gee. Woo! Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, that stank, to be honest. I'm glad I ate before I did that. Um, I think it's lucky that I was uh, used to seeing maggots as a kid because that was uh, pretty weird. It's like a bit like CSI, but real, you know. Um, the smell's gone. It's, it's gone in there. It's covered, and I didn't retch either. Uh, so I'd, I'd call that a success. We're going to leave that in there for about ten minutes, uh, and then after that, I'll put some washing soda in it. I've got to put a cup full of sodium carbonate into that and then it cooks for about 35 minutes this is uh soda crystals the woman in the shop said does your laundry lovely i said i'm not doing my laundry love i'm doing a sheep's skull and she says yeah but if you put a little bit in your laundry it'll be all right she kind of glossed over the head bit what i'm doing now is preparing a coat hanger uh, to pull out the brains that are left in the skull and actually if you have a little look here, we find that some of the brain has already come out. La, 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 la. Let's have a look at this skull. It's been boiling for more than two hours. It kind of smells like a wet dog, really. That's its brain falling out. Oh, can you see that? Oh! <laughs> Soup, anyone? <laughs> Mama is a crazy, 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 crazy. Mama Dogus. Here we are, a couple of years later, and I finally got round to bleaching the skull. It looks a bit yellowy, and if I want to put him on top of my piano in such a prominent position, I want to make sure he looks all right. His teeth could definitely do with a cleaner. Ugh. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put him in a bucket of bleach for a good while and see what he comes out like after that. Think of it as cosmetic soakery. She's the seer with the crystal ball. Trying to get your mind in focus when the cards begin to fall. Lady with the hocus. It's the day of reckoning for my ram's head. Will he look whiter than white? 
with gleaming teeth? Or will he look as beige as he did before? Here he is, and he looks glorious. He's been submerged for a week or two in cheap, neat bleach, and it's done him the world of good. He looks lovely, don't you think? And now, my sheep's head takes pride of place on the altar. That is, on top of my piano. Ram a lam a ding dong. She's the seer with the crystal ball. Trying to get your mind in focus. When the cards begin to fall, Lady with the hocus pocus. Get about it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>